Twitter in the first session. We would like you to feel part of this meeting. We would like at the end of the day to be able to read out something that we can do to what we have agreed and walk out of this place peacefully without agreement. Acrimony does not grow the industry. What grows the industry is the fibers that are seen on the reactions. It is people being alert from the developments that are taking place, refusing to allow things to be put on their throats, but also understanding the procedure of lawmaking. And this is the background that I wanted to give. And please, I beg you, in charge me, I will not take long. I joined the Kenya Film Transportation Board less than a year ago. And the first thing that confronted me was a memorandum from the producers and the players in the industry who raised an issue, which I found it and we discussed by the board, but they submitted it to me, that the 100 shillings per minute that gets to be charges for rating content was too exorbitant and was killing the industry. And the first thing I did was to bring this to the board. And actually, initially, I must confess, I was misled, I was misguided. I believe the board would give approval for us to wait that amount. And actually, the board also came and they had no issue. They also said that this thing has been here for too long and it's time to engage and find a way forward. And actually, the board gave us the approval. But the procedure requires that we write to the CS Treasury and the request for the waiver or for approval for us to be able to stop charging the 100 shillings for freighting of content that you submit to FCD. We did that. It is now almost a year since we presented that proposal. The government procedures can be long and can be tedious, and if we allow that route to be the only route, chances are that we will not get that response as quickly as we want. There are so many other things that are wrong with Kaptu to two, the fuel and the safe place of the North of Kenya. One of the things is that the law itself was enacted in 1963. During the, I think most of it was just transferred from the colonial days to the new government. And then it was a censorship board. So the inclination and the spirit of that law was actually to censor. It was to to, 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 to manage information for the government. I know I'm going to with a, a more harsh word to use. But I come from an information background myself. I'm a journalist. And that there are things that I find that make sense. This day and age to be in cap two to two. But it is a single so little that I can do unless we engage in a structured procedural process to change this law. It is you are not. You pay taxes so that I earn my salary and yes, the people can run. And it is your law. You have the final say. But as the person you are put in charge, not a mere employee, I cannot do anything that provides leadership in what is my wisdom on that peril, like many of you want to say, guide this and provide an opportunity for us to talk. Because you can't change the law on Twitter. You don't change the law on Facebook. You change the law by coming together and talking, and then submitting memorandum. So what we did was to engage the industry associations and fields from the one, and we reached a, a process where we even asked them, can you submit these things in a written form and copy them for our own minister for sports and the arts. That was done about two months ago by several organizations that have been coming at the KFCD board. And as a result, the minister directed that I initiated the process and ensure we address the complex. Now, there were a number of issues that were raised. Besides the filming licenses, and some of them are so many, they are, you, you get a, a license from KFCD, you go to the streets to shoot a movie, you are charged another by the county government, and they don't make sense to me. Neither do they make sense to you. And we all agree there is a problem with CAP 2 to 2. And when the industry leaders, the associations, through their law officials, got to us, we sat at my boardroom and agreed we start this process. Now, what we did as KFCB was as 
management to put together the issues before. Allow me to say again, thank you, Chief. In our wisdom, on that level, the proposals, I agree, the proposals that will guide the process. But look, these are just proposals. They, this is not a bill, because a bill is a structured legislative term that must have been published by the Attorney General. So it cannot be a bill. Number two, it's not a new law. And I must have this to a mistake that we made, and I take responsibility, full responsibility, apologize to all of you. Because when we posted initially, the title was wrong. We said a few things. Please allow me to correct it and take it in good faith. We noticed yesterday, and we corrected it around 8 30 in the morning. Only the title, only the title, we never changed the content. The rest of it remained as it has been. We have tried as much as possible to be transparent. And what we are thinking we will do today, this is the first one. The first we have ever engaged on this issue. And after this, there will be so many other meetings. We need to go to the counties. We are going to engage with the associations. We are going to engage with everybody who has a voice and a contribution to men. We are going to create a link on our website where if you cannot come for the meetings, you can submit your proposals. And we are going to go around and talk to all the stakeholders. There are other stakeholders. Today we have got the producers, um, the two makers, producers, distributors, and actors. But I do know there will be other people who got interested because of the debate that was raised on social media. And this is so good, like Peter said, we are a democracy. We believe in the rule of law. I want to assure you, fellow Kenyans, that there can be no moment by KFCB or anybody that goes against the spirit of the Constitution of Kenya. Any law or proposal, or whatever you might have seen, to the extent of its inconsistency with Article that three on freedom of expression, Article that four on freedom of the media, Article that five on access, uh, freedom to access, access of information, that law, to the extent of that inconsistency, will be null and void. Not me, not the president, not anyone who can contravene the constitution. However, I do know, because of our historical hangovers and the way we have been treated, as actors, particularly in the theatre and the, the film industry in general, the issue that led to the deleting of, uh, to the LPPG deleting certain aspects of human state place. It is understandable that you are very sensitive to some of these issues being brought back to the table. But nothing is lost. We are here to talk. No law, nothing. All of us are starting on a key page. And I assure you our commitment to support you. Lastly, we've gone out of our way, not only to guide the process as Kenya Film Transportation Board, but we incorporate the officials of the associations and the guilds into a standing committee that will guide the process. And we have told them, even when we are meeting your sector, all of them will go with us. When we are meeting religious organizations, they will be there. When we are meeting the parents, they will be there. If we are meeting the representatives of children, they will be there. If we are meeting members of parliament or we are women for the marking out of the country, they will go with us. So that the process is inclusive, there will be no shortcuts, and there will be no cuts that are played under the table. And I assure you of that commitment. And lastly, allow me to plead with you to understand that we have actually challenges that we are facing as a country in respect to content classification. The need for content classification is obvious to all of us. We are living at a time when our kids have access to guidance. We are living at a time when TV stations are playing pornographic material during the day. And all of you, just like me, if you are a parent, you are concerned when your kids are watching the TV during the day. And some of these issues, the way they have been proposed in CAP 222, or the way they are, because some of the concerns that I've seen, they are not new introductions. They are already there in CAP 222. And so, for instance, if we say, stop the review of the law, what we are telling us is to remain with the act as it is, again as it is, draconian as it is. Whose interest does it serve? Our primary objective is to protect our 
our children from exposure to harmful content. We are willing to listen today. We are willing to show the program completely, and I think you will be set of the table and listen to you. What we want to do today is, if it is possible, to get an, a formula for how we are going to engage. And if we can just achieve that today, we can now start following that formula. If you feel that the way we are approaching it, and apparently the proposal that has brought is not the best way, we want you to have an opportunity to say how best we, uh, we do it. The only request I would make is please let us do it in a manner that is simple and upon the program so that all of us are respect you and I'll feel so good when I'm respected. First of all, I'm really happy that you're allowed me to talk. I thought initially when I came, there would be no time for me to say a word. In fact, we will make the official yesterday. Okay, uh, when I made the official yesterday, you greeted and asked me, do you really want to expose yourself to such outside crowd? And we had two options. We wanted to issue a statement and follow up the media. This was my position because they are here. I, I pleaded with them to allow me to come here and respond if that was the next to the CEO. He called the names if that was the next But I trusted, I trusted, which is what you have now proved that you are going to be simple, you are going to be organized, and you are going to start the process of reviewing that to do to in a manner that will be perceived, be more inclusive, and decent. I thank you, I thank you for your kind attention. May God bless you. Allow me, allow me please to just ask those officials, because this was part of the program, if you don't mind, but I suppose it will not take like long, just the people who represent the organization, that they were part of this, so that you got to be, it was KFCB doing everything. And then was one of them, John Karate was one of them, where is the North Korea? Yeah, they can just wait for that. My brother, you, you are far. Please, you are far, man. Yeah. This is the I can really get you was once that you got it for that thing you are telling you are going to go This guy came and he put I know the insulting people are not going to remember like chief. Please say no, but eventually we agree that this is necessary. Uh, so that is uh, that is a new Abuto from Task. Task is the Arts um, and the Society of Kenya. Uh, that is our Abuto from Task. Uh, Task is the Arts and the Society of Kenya. Then we have Dennis Juice, is there? Madam, that's what we should say. When they do that, they call off the music. We will have our own meeting here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we are here, all our interests have to be taken into account. Our people have not done anything. It has not gone anywhere. It is for us now to view it from now and move forward with it. The law is ours, it is ours, and it will be for all the others. Yes, really, yeah. So we will scare the guy that will be here. I can't be here. <laughs> By the way, then you did a lawyer, so you need to pass. And the report we are committing, if the industry feels you need to do your own separate meeting as associations, and because we are coming, we can only support registered organizations, we will be willing to commit support, financial, for you to have your separate meeting anytime you want, wherever you want, to submit a trade law memorandum. Please, if you 
that just shows your fear that what you are producing and the organization. We shall be with John Musharu, as the executive director of Airway, which is the entertainment, film, and welfare ensemble. It is a registered organization with the AG, and it has about 2,000 members. Okay, so that's John Musharu. Then we have John Karanja from Little Ensemble. John Karanja, please, you want to say something? Yes, John Karanja from Liverpool. I hope we are going to crash the bill together so that we can get the answer that we require. And we are going to go about it in a very simple, harmonized way. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much, uh, John. And then we have Green Bad Bukalia. 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 Kenya Actors Guild. Kenya Actors Guild. Yes. Any other positions that have left out? Well, we can. Yeah.
and I am 100% with everyone in this room and especially with, with Maguga just saying, to be honest, you cannot come, you, you cannot come with, 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 with a bill that intends to be a law that, that, that will regulate what, what we are doing online and you do not stop to us. So, so, so please make sure that we are a part of this going forward. And to be honest, we are not interested in it. Oh, oh, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> I'm 
responding to your suggestion. We are going to ask you if you like everyone to reject the answer to this.
and we are going to support you because there are so many other actors that are involved in this. So, with this tremendous respect, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. You know, Chris are joking with me, and Chris are sure to that if uh, people play around with the law, look at Chris, eh? So, please, eh? and that's what I'm Anyway, that's what I'm Allow, allow, just over, please, let's appreciate the power of the law.
Now, if you want to make it responsive, the only way in which you can do it is to fix it to what you have. But today, we were actually not coming to make presentation. I have seen in the program that there are a lot of provisions and all that presentation by the entire program. We are not that important and say, look, given the limited time available for today, in fact, perhaps even before we get into the process of making a uh, representation about the content of the grant, it is even better just to agree on how we can structure the process of stakeholder engagement. I've had a number of people say, look, we are not involved, we are independent, uh, he, 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 he. so the first question that you really have to address is, what is the best way of structuring this process of the beginning stakeholders? Now, that to me shouldn't take too much time. Now, having said all that, the next thing is, based on what we have seen, what are our initial reactions? Now, our task today is to check those reactions. It is not to make a judgment about whether the proposals that are coming from plenary are okay or not. It is more of a feedback. You have come up with this. This is our initial reaction. So what we will do is after this initial engagement, and after engaging a few more people, we will come up with yet another draft. And that draft will probably go through a process not very different from what we have today. So I agree with you. Let us do something about the current situation of the Kenyans and the Kenyans Act. Speaking as a lawyer, I see a lot of challenges that it has for either of not for KSE, and it should be threatening if that state of affairs was to be allowed to succeed for much longer. Uh, Dr. Kukua has told me that there can be very surprising if something is done about the current situation is between now and June next year for the next election. Now, for me, I think that's a very limited time, and if we do not use our time efficiently, they will not be able to achieve that objective. Now, with that, uh, I think I can now do no more than to acknowledge that uh, I have seen some sons and daughters of mine in this place. Uh, Dennis is one of them. Dennis is my son. <laughs> uh, actually, I was very relieved when I saw him. After I was reading a little bit of Twitter yesterday, I actually asked myself when I said, Who's the idea to come and have a And when I shared it with my wife, she recommended that I invest in a helmet. <laughs> She also recommended that when I come, I don't come dressed in the suit and trust it to be not okay. <laughs> and last but not least, she recommended that since I have a number of staff who work under me, I should delegate this responsibility to one of them so that I don't come. Uh, but on second thought, I say perhaps it's actually a good idea that I should come so that I can hear it for myself. With those very, very remarks, can I say welcome to this very, very important <laughs> But 
pretty much, uh, my understanding is that Bill looked to address a question. And the, and the proposition of this question comes from a policy framework. Because KFCB does not exist in isolation. It exists alongside other skilled organizations that do promotion, others do other roles. And this field in and of itself, uh, we have not seen the policy framework that is coming from. And so without that, then we don't have a benchmark to look at the bill. And so without that, we cannot validate this bill. Because who and what questions is it addressing in what framework? And therefore then, the Ministry of Culture should present the policy framework through which this bill is trying uh, to address the question. So procedure number one. On the moral question, uh, this bill has been originated by whoever it has been. Some of them have denied their participation, and some of them have acknowledged. Oh. And that is fine, uh, because the law is uh, very passionate. But they're not passionate, because we are idle people who only respond passionately. It's because the propositions in this bill are not only disrespectful, they are not only um, in bad faith, but also they complicate our business practice, they increase costs, they, lay, they raise uh, fines, they create new categories of criminals in this country, they make our creation of the work part of the regulation, they include all forms of acts, and they also safeguard the institution of KFCB from prosecution because they say KFCB has the expert opinion to even object what adults in this country can and cannot see. And so the document on the table is the first thing. It gives a big sector from a negative perspective. And this sector is the one that gives the vote, not Ezekiel. So Ezekiel can move, and we appreciate your charisma, sir. But really, the person they are creating this office for, and I want to move to this plenary right now, and it's spoken, that this bill is a Trojan horse. Yeah, yeah. It proposes the most extreme ways to regulate this sector, and if we continue to validate in this meeting and the signatures we put there, what will happen is that we will we will have a few compromises, but the animal that this comes with will increase your costs, will increase the fines, will make creative production of all the arts, including some of the top services, difficult, and so. Because even the sponsors of this bill are withdrawing their moral authority, I want to move that we move these propositions so that we can go within good faith to engage with KFCB yes. to the shredder. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
first of all, we begin to the No reference to this document that we presented for. I mean, that, I call that the Kachara to the Let me help by saying that, uh, before it says that, uh, I have to see me this one. We are all in agreement to go to Takashara thing. Yes. We want to propose a way forward. Uh, moving forward, we have a cap 222 that exists alone. We must be here. So it is our own. On that we are in agreement, right? Yes. So my proposal would be, Mr. Charles, uh, with due respect, you know you talk to me, so now you are my big guy. Now we consider that each of us, and each of us are very such an independent person, we look at the bill, and not at the bill, at the act, at 2 to 2. Yes. Beginning with the first section, beginning with the name of the act. Do you want to change the name of the act? We can't do the specific section, section 1 to the end, and then we can read the section. Then, from that, we can borrow a week. Have some more committee that can sit now and bring all those proposals together. And then together, now we will have an amendment bill to be moved forward. Then we come again and see and discuss it and say whether or not there's an interest in the party. I won't think that would be a better way to go. Thank you. My name is Michelle Kokona, I'm a senior citizen. I want to say I agree 100% with the Gashara proposal, but I do have a couple of questions. Number one, we're using the word industry, and I'm not clear what we mean by industry. Wait, are we talking about the film industry? Because as far as I know, the only industry that the Kenya Film Classification Board has the power to address is the film <laughs> Let us remember that part of the reason, as George Mugai put, that in 1997, everything to do with stage play and theater was repealed because it was found that actually the Kenya Film Censorship Order, it was there, had no business doing anything to do with film, with theater, anything else but film. And then I am also curious, and I agree with the gentleman. But why are all the other genres, publication, ETC, ETC, yes. visual art, what are we doing in this discussion? Yeah. So I completely, as a Kenyan, as an artist, I support anything that is being done as CAP 222 is being reviewed not from this document, from CAP 222. And it deals with classification of not regulation. So for me, my worry is um, that with this bill, they are legitimizing um, an illegal thing that they've already been doing. We've seen all the comments, we've seen everything that um, Ezekiel has said, uh, you know, as far as online content is concerned. And 
the thing is, is that these flowers that he wants to give himself um, are, are, are things that he has already been doing, but now he, 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 he's seeking to legitimize it. Unfortunately, it is wrong. And like, like Rashana has said, to be honest, there's nothing to discuss here. I mean, you know, I mean, we start from ground zero and see and see how to and see how to go from that. Okay, guys. My name is Aru Kesa. After all that, Article 33 of the Kenyan Constitution clearly states that you have the right to go on expression in the A. You don't have to seek, receive, or impart information or ideas. B. One of the reasons we're here. Freedom of artistic creativity. And C. Academic freedom and freedom of scientific research. The reason why we're here is that this bill actually curtails Kenyan creativity to the maximum, and that can't happen. My creativity cannot be limited to one person or one institution for that matter. And so, I started a petition for the disbandment of KFCD. Kenya Film Classification Board, not stage play classification, not ISP classification. Stick to your lane. It's supposed to be classifying films, not stage plays and all these other things. True or false? True. Exactly. There's a lawyer who posted something that really interested me. There are two ways to disband AFCB. One, through parliament. Two, through the courts. Parliament has a mandate to disband either the person sitting on the board or amend the structure of the board or create a new board. The courts, on the other hand, will extinguish the repressive or unconstitutional mandates of the board. It's why I really like what the gentleman down there said concerning that point. The same applies to this bill. Parliament can refuse to pass this bill. It can only be achieved through the noise and the hashtag battalion and the mobilization, why we are here, and from whomever the bill is intending to oppress. Players can also file a petition in a court of law to challenge the constitutionality of the bill, and thereafter in the event, the act. I did my part by starting the petition, which has over 600 signatures out of 1,000. And uh, we really must actually join forces, because this bill is quite impressive, to be honest. In either, there is a total, there should be a total overhaul of the KFCB, so that finally they can do whatever they're supposed to be doing once they've been appointed, or we just disband the whole thing and start afresh. <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless you, people. <laughs> I think I'm the publisher, um, I'm the publisher of Morning Park, and I'm also representing the International Association. Um, and just to confirm that publishers, writers, people dealing with the formation and translation of ideas were not consulted for this process. And we are all in agreement with the population, and we'd like to hear from the government, Mr. Vecchio and Tua, agreeing that we are going to shelve this draft and begin that process again. But as we do so, I would really like um credit, credit, sorry, not shelving, credit. And I'd like to make a comment as to the spirit um, of, of this proposal. And, and I'd like to issue a reminder about there's so many people in the room who've done such significant work to safeguard free expression in this country. And I think this completely takes us back to the 80s, 80s and 90s we were talking about. As an organization, we've been working a lot with writers to make sure that we ensure a space for free expression. And what we're doing basically would mean that as an organization, we have to stop our work and we cannot allow this. And so if this goes forward, I'd like to say that as a creative economy working group, we'll be challenging the constitutionality of this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, just to look over here, the bill again. 
Um, going back to Cap 222, I would like to remind our people in this room, Karaja, Victor, and others, that in fact, in 2012, all the stakeholders associations, the Kenya Film Commission, AFCP, KWS, the Treasury, Immigration, were all invited to a retreat in Manzoni, where we spent the whole weekend going through something called the Film Bill 2012, which is a very, very thorough document. Some of the items in that bill, we can just grab off all chapters, but otherwise it is actually a very good bill that we should go through, and that would be our foundation that would save us weeks and weeks of work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was very good. <laughs> Sorry for this. Okay. Uh, from there, it will come to the lady here, and she will sing, then she will get to her, and then it goes back after the issue. The man is yellow. And the lady next to him, then we come to the lady in the house. After reflection, and my reflection takes me back to the mid-90s, when the ship was very, very bad in this country. I come from the history of being one of the lead theatre artists in the country. We began off in Balawati Player Society and moved quite a number of big actors. The Jerry Mungai have been part partners with us. And then I've moved on to become uh, part of the leadership in crew and, um, and um, uh, documentary filmmaking. Now there is one issue that I'm very worried about. When we go into censorship again, and I just want to take you back to uh, that time because I wish Stephen Mwenesi was here because he actually took the censorship board to court and stopped the issue of censorship of plays and that's when we had plays like Can't Pay, Wouldn't Pay, uh, The Fruit of a Cockroach being banned by the government and we thought more the government was the worst. Now we are seeing another case rearing and we are asking ourselves right now who are we serving, who is the person on the leash and why are we getting back to membership? Two, we are going into, we, we support filmmakers in documentary filmmaking. And the major thing we do is support independent documentary filmmakers who are doing creative and innovative work. When we remove the independence from the filmmaker, what does that mean? Because the moment you come in and start censoring them, you're telling them, don't do any play on LGBTQ. Don't do, uh, don't do any film on uh, issues of LGBTI. Don't go into areas of, uh, uh, of for example, uh, religion. You, you actually have corruption. And at the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if you do, don't talk about politics anymore. We go back to the thing. I'm so worried about this. And I have a lot of respect for Mutua, but for right now, I'm very good saying I'm doubting a bit for the direction of the world. It will cost us a very good one. Very good one. But at the end of the day, when you bring this kind of document to us, uh, um, stamp, and then at the end of the day, because you've written our names out there, you will say all these people are there, number included. I'm sorry, it would work out. So back to the Gashari declaration, we are with it. 100%, we want this to be started again. Start at Jim's amount or whatever space, but you can't go with this document. Yeah. Yeah.
if we all understand this association with belonging, even if you're a freelancer, we are so 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 many freelancers. Can you decide who they are so that we can all join and say what we're going to say? Because now all of us are asking each other, who is this, who is that, who is this, who is that? If the bill has been proposed, or if the proposal from your end, could you please tell us an issue of why all these gentlemen sat in a podium and decided to put bloggers, film guys, everyone together? Yet to put a proposal like that, we're not asking a representation for people who lack agency. Just can't look for this one. They are not there. So how of these people produce ads which are created from agency? Or you do is make phones. So if you don't have touch with phones, ladies and gentlemen, what are we doing here? Really? If we don't think about it like that. Secondly, we need to check, because we already have a law, as you said, it was reviewed in 2012. But where are the recommendations for the 2012 mandatory declarations and the amendments that were put in place? Because if we do not legally go through that, that is it. And another thing, who's writing the new stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say very clearly, Bokami came out and the whole of you people, this is not public participation. Let's not our facilitators be told when they are stable with that is not public participation. This is consultation. So many people who do that against us later on and say, we said, they said, we said, this is not public participation. And that since we've already agreed, that this thing is starting from zero. Can, by the time we live here, can all organizations, the publications, the bloggers, the everyone, write their name and we give us attention to when they'll sit down with our hands to see if we can tell us where the industry came from. Thank you. 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 You know, it's not true, but we are actually saying you go to the other one. What I say is, you're not close. I would come from the same the same generation where when we were being we were being tested uh, both, uh, both in the 90s uh, in the 80s and 90s when we were being thrown out of some public places and you see the few coming in with that and put them out of those public places. Now I I am I'm asking the question. This board, when we sit together and discuss issues about censorship, issues about segregation, have these people been in their lifetime? Have they, have they ever been in a relationship? Have they ever had any have, have they even attempted to do, even read a publication apart from the cartoon to do? <laughs> <laughs>
I beg all the members present here. Let us not continue discussing this because we are giving this board this uh, meeting tonight and take away that we had a discussion. <laughs> it was time for Madam and Friend there to give us guidance. And I want to request that we allow you to give us guidance. Now that we have just this document, yeah. what is the second step? And we had to there. We all agree that KSD have from the inception our set their mandate. Many men. <laughs> I'm not saying the all events should happen, but they don't want to run by friends, and they don't want either. So they tell you don't want passion, don't want this, that is bullshit. <laughs> Finally, I also want to say one thing to you. Political leaders have a lot of power in legislation. Number one reason, uh, number one uh, responsibility of uh, members of parliament is to legislate. And we, as the player in this industry, we lack proper representation in parliament. That is why, meeting the showcase, I have a mind for the to And I want to the of the Let us join the political leadership. That way it is easy to make such legislation in parliament other than allowing these businessmen who have never acted, who have never been created, to be Thank you very much. <laughs>
announcing this intention with an on uh, uh, the session that can be registered. We have spoken about uh, private practitioners and registered associations, but LGBT are not registered. So, uh, but Mr. Ezekiel says that uh, they consider registered associations and now uh, private practitioners, and I would like to add, non-registered associations such as LGBT organizations. And two, um, I'd like to say that uh, you realize that all of us in this room um, have suffered as an answer of Kenya Film Association for Why? Because, um, um, because of the grievances we have uh, given. So I would like that in as much as Mr. Uh, Deshara says we need to find a way forward, I still don't understand why we are in so much hurry to go forward without correcting the, our past. Okay, um, we need, personally, I would suggest that Kenya still the special board denounce all the bans they imposed on all artists because it is null and void. You hear me? You denounce all of them as one way in a process of healing. Because, say for instance, when my, um, my project was banned, my crew ran away to some of them out of the country. The emotion torture, you know? The damages, the loss we incurred, we couldn't even market our pro, uh, our 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 product because it was banned. <laughs> the little the board can do is to denounce the ban. If not, um, <laughs> 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 and three, um, Yeah. 
kind of feel that we get on board of this As a teacher, of know I'm a stakeholder. The parents and the gentlemen behind there talked about as stakeholders. The people in the pulpit who I'm told are unable to do their job as stakeholders. Now, for this process to move forward, do we agree that it is necessary that we listen to the view of every stakeholder, however might be Yes. 
how I want to say it. Uh, even as we move forward in life, this is what I want to say. There was a suggestion that use the field and stage the act as a starting point, correct? Yes. There was another suggestion that use the minority declaration as a starting point, correct? Yes. Now, this is the proposal that I would suggest. And I would relate it to the way we use the way our constitution, the one that we are so proud about. When the constitution making process started, it is true that views were collected and collated from all over the area. But those views were collected and collected on the basis of very many drafts. There was a DPD draft, there was one in Ivasha Hall, there were so many of them. What I propose is this. Even as you people say trash this, allow also other people to comment. No. On no. There's no one else. There's no one else. The question is, who are these other Who are these other
that the, the laws are hinged on a policy framework. We do have a policy framework that is waiting to be published. So, okay. so, 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 yes, let me just finish. I think um, it will be healthy here because the film industry has been legislated on bits and pieces of law over the years, this being just one of them, that whatever bill or whatever laws we are going to propose be hinged on a policy framework. So we do first things first, and then this becomes a conversation at a second level. So I think for me, we should push for that policy to be published, and then secondly, <laughs> We now put an industry-wide bill together, and then that is now subject to stakeholder engagement. Yes. So that then we are talking about classification, we are talking about development, we are talking about incentives, we are talking about training, we are talking about all matters industry. <laughs>
what you want to do in terms of field. Please come to the rest of us for the things the industry go to the rest of it. But for now, please don't try to give us a red herring of let's collect more views of this draft. We're not discussing it.
these moments. That is the foundation of your voice. We are not going to be the last one. We are not going to be the And we are leaving. And you would not put this on media that you did not install in us. Exactly. So far, and lead this process, yes. and you cannot responsibly lead this process. Yes. We still respect you, but you have to respect us back and, and, and know that whatever you want to regulate is what we create. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. We are the, the ones who give you big money. Yes. You are one of the stakeholders, not all the stakeholders. Yes. And there are other institutions yes. which we can respect more if you do not. We are the ones who give you business, man. Thank you very much. I'd just like to give one call. My name is Greg Tandor. Uh, you could call me a DJ. Um, I just want to give one analogy uh, about the business of the market. And likely it's, uh, it's about detectable uh, force, right? You know your car has a problem with the street, but you don't rush it. You know your president has a signal that you want that you know, so you know, take it out. You know that your train has a problem, but you still try to take it out. That's exactly what we're dealing with here right now. Where we've seen, just immediately you take the car out, or the aeroplane out of the hangar, it has a fault. And what you're trying to tell us is, what you're trying to come to pick up, up there which is fundamentally wrong, which is now what we can have So the whole logic is, we need to take this back to the repair room and find the mechanics and find the people who have, you know, who have to start the process all over again and work on it before we can even take it out and say it's not working or we can protest it or it's even a process that is functional. And what is happening is that instead of us figuring out what is the way of going back to the repair room, we are trying to force it to get onto the road that it will be handled as it goes by. And I think if that makes sense, then you should also be able to see it. Thank you. we have and we came to hear him that way. We didn't have, you remember from the beginning, we agreed to be sure. We have not done a presentation and we actually threw away the program. If you have a copy of that program, that's not going to be a problem. And we agreed that this becomes a consultative meeting that will agree on where we go from here. How do we go forward? We are So that we can have a formula that says, and this is what I'm, I'm trying to get to whether, whether, whether we got what you're saying, that we start by reviewing CAP 2 to 2, not to say Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. And I suggest that we agree. So, if that is a resolution, you want to write it down? Yes, I'm going to write it down. Yes, yes, yes. Is there someone? Madam, I want to hear you. We need to hear you clearly, categorically say that you have signed this document here because of us today. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I want to take one in my hand. Yeah, we need that. 
store and you will find a cab's license hanging over there. And let me then now put the case in point. Those particular stores that you guys license as a form of revenue yeah, are the same ones that stock all those things that you ban at the theaters. You will find more of you will find all manner of things there. So if you are supposedly supporting the sector, then you should surely know that fire is a big one for us. I'm actually responding to what I'm also doing here because I've been taking notes. Yes, and I think what Professor Guy said was, and Jill Cottrell said, is if you have a policy document, it asks the questions that you need to answer. So I think what we are saying is that the next step should be to go back to the film policy. And then, as you have that discussion on that film policy, all these other issues of whether the view of particular laws or particular, whatever it is the film industry needs to discuss, is discussed. And then that becomes the forum where you set the timetable for the review of everything you need to do. What this meeting is saying is if we can agree that the next step is to go back to the film policy and bring all the things, all the discussions, the institutions you need to have in that space. You do that, and then set your timetable and your program and everything. Then we can talk about if it's the review of the laws, if it is agreeing where the mandate of particular institutions are, all that. Because the rest of us don't feel that this is a discussion, to be fair on the film people, that all the rest of us should be participating in. Then when you've done that as an industry, then you can come and get public participation and the rest of us will come in. But please, let's not move beyond that today. Let's agree we trash the bill, we're going back to the film policy, and that's enough for today. And that's so. Yes! yes. yes. I, I, I think that's a good question. As many as I'm not opinion, say I...